All right. I'm almost like Happy New Year. I know. Except for that's next it's week. next week. Next, next week. week. We'll okay, next week will be Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, this is the last week of the year, 2022. Yeah. And we are excited to share with you the our favorite projects of 2022. Yeah. And we're going to show them to you and tell you why we think they're amazing. Why we love them. Why yeah, they stood yeah. out. Um, we were looking for inspiration for the new year to come and wanted to give you guys some inspiration and we always forget what we've done <laughs> yeah yeah we actually organized like this entire building um in the last couple of weeks and when we did that we organized all the projects so that we can pull them straight out have them all kind of in um, a place where you can mm -hmm. actually access them not in yeah. piles. they were getting deeper and deeper and deeper and it was like oh please I don't know how many of you craft rooms look like that, feel like that. If you share that feeling, give us a little thumbs up or thumbs you, down, depending on which I way you feel about I don't know if you saw the, the thing that I shared on our Studio or 12 page about using mom's craft scissors to <gasps> cut wrapping paper. And um, you guys all love that. It, yeah, was, yeah. it was a very popular one of our posts. Yikes. Yeah, that'll, that'll get you straight in trouble. I hope that everybody has stayed warm this last week. Um, everybody in the United States got weather. Yeah. Um, it seems like the entire country froze. And um, yeah, I'm, we stayed at home and snuggled yeah. and did our little craft projects and things like that and just took advantage of the weather and the um, ability to stay yes. inside. Um, by the way, that's Patty and I'm Carrie. Oh. Hello. And this is Studio R12 Stencils. Hey, good call. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I'm on oh, it. Not that you we, <laughs> Who are you people? We have an amazing stencil company with more than mm -hmm. 6,000 titles. Most of our stencils come in several different sizes. That's a really unusual thing. Um, when you shop from um, the big box craft stores, that kind of thing, you get a stencil that is this size, mm -hmm. and that is the only size you will ever have a choice of. Yeah. And when I created, I started creating stencils for myself, um, for my customers, but for myself, because they're things I don't ever want to ever, ever base coat. And things like buffalo plaid, bats, anything with a sharp, hard edge, repeat patterns. Mm -hmm. My um, students that I was teaching, when I was travel teaching all over the United States, they were all hating any of the lettering that had to be hand done. Like if you think about it, you have to trace the lettering, then you have to transfer the lettering, then you have to fill in the lettering two to four times. Yeah. So you're touching it over and over and over again and the amount of time it takes. So stencil saves time. Stencils are creative tools. Mm -hmm. um, we love our stencils, but we also knew we needed them in sizes. Yeah. And so once we bought our own equipment, started making our own stencils um, here in the United States, here in Southeast Ohio. When we started doing that, um, we knew we wanted to offer them in all the different sizes, and that is amazing. So if you know you need a bat stencil, you can get it. Eat. It's huge, yeah. ginormous bats. We do have ginormous stencils. Yes, and I, I want to do an all call real quick. Our friend Glennis said, I made tablet holders for gifts this year and they turned out so cute. So we want to hear from you guys. What did you gift? What did you paint for Christmas this oh, year? Oh, I want to know gifted? about this. I oh, gifted fun. my mother-in-law one of our anyway trays because she and my father-in-law, they sit in their recliners and eat dinner most days. Yeah, yeah. And so I painted her one of those. And let me tell you, it is it was sealed it's sealed for life. I did layers of wax and, and <laughs> yeah, the food it. safe wax and the, um, the multi-purpose sealer and the polyurethane. But um, she sent me a picture yesterday and she was eating dinner on it yesterday. So what I love about those anyway trays is you can flip the board over and paint the backside mm -hmm. and then you can change them out. So now that yes. Carrie has done the hard work of the base, now she can do the easier work. Yep, she's getting uh, one for Mother's Day. Yep. She's getting one for <laughs> Valentine's, for Valentine's Day. moment, you know? <laughs> and I think the panels are like, I don't know, 10 bucks, 12 yep. bucks, something like that. So <laughs> you can't go to a store and buy a gift for less than that and have it mean as much. Agreed. So I love that. Yes. Um, Make sure to follow us over our subscribe mm -hmm. over on our YouTube channel. We do videos, um, lives on Tuesdays and videos almost every week on Saturdays. 
And that's what we're going to share with you today are some of our favorite projects that we painted and our tutorials. Yeah, and what's valuable about what we're doing today is we're not only going to share with you the, um, like the, the video itself, mm -hmm. because some of you may have come in through a side door and may not realize we have a YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, you may be on Facebook and then didn't know about the YouTube. Mm -hmm. We've been working so hard on the YouTube channel um, and the, the lessons that you're going to learn, like we have so much knowledge um, and we want to share it with you. And that is why we have a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. um, people have, um, many people have said to us, I can't believe you're giving this content away free. Yes. Um, I believe in that for our customers. So we, we want to pour into you guys. You guys come and shop with us because you care about what we are doing. And so it makes a nice little, um, a little nice gratitude yeah. circle. Mm -hmm. So I love it. Um, our friend Sandy said that she painted ornaments to nice. give for Christmas. Um, Such a good gift. Debbie says she always paints ornament for her kids or for Aww. her grandkids. Brenda said that she painted the welcome to our fire pit sign. Debbie painted Valentine's trucks. Kat painted ornaments and cookbook stands. <laughs> um, and then we had someone who said it. Someone just said that it's 70 degrees in Phoenix. Uh, yeah, I don't think that part of our country got it. Although, if you're 70 degrees in Phoenix, you're cold. cold. You are cold in Phoenix. Oh, you don't know. That's like freezing here. Yeah. We were one. We were okay. one degree. I think it, I think it got to zero. Yeah, yeah. I think it, it got, and it was a feel like well, feel like negative, but it was it was cold. cold. Um, we were snuggling and you know yeah doing all that take care of yourself yeah. stuff. And I am going to share, so it is um, December 27th, 2022. It's the last Tuesday of the year. This week on studio12.com, we are having an after Christmas clearance sale. Um, when I was putting this sale together, I was very surprised <clears throat> that we had more than 700 different Christmas mm. designs. Like, <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. so we have more than 700 designs that are marked down 50% off. Whoa, guys! Sorry, go Patty. Get them. I know. <laughs> Patty doesn't know about these until we get on here live. She's like, "Hold up!" Um, so this sale ends Thursday, so yeah. you will want to grab that. This is when you take advantage of the thing, oh, all the things. Um, also, a couple of weeks ago, we had um, an inventory reduction -y kind of sale, mm -hmm. and we were taking advantage of a fulfillment center that we tested. Did not work out very well and i just want to let you all know hey, we're not doing that again yeah um it was a bad experiment so mm -hmm. um the neat thing about being a small business is you can decide something and you can stop deciding yeah. it very quickly so um thank you guys for your feedback if you had an experience with that um it, it was it was messy in every way so we do apologize for that yes. um and we do want to say ending the year thank you so much for um Subscribing, liking, sharing, and just being a part of our, our world. Yeah, absolutely. We said we weren't going to cry. I know. I got <laughs> we were, the tissues. We were, talking, we were talking about, um, you know, making sure that we thank you guys. And we're like, we're not going to cry. We're not going to do it. Okay, um, let's talk about yes, projects. Yes, first of all, okay. let's talk about last week's project. Oh, so yeah. it's hanging on the wall. We're not going to take it off the wall. But the, it's just a phase bag was our you project that thing. we oh, released. You got it straight on? Last week on our YouTube channel. And such a cool technique, you guys. Yes, it's it was it was just very pretty. When Patty Patty brought me the bag and told me to pick a design, and I'm very into boho, so I started looking up boho things. I was like, oh, this is gonna be it. And then she just brought it to life. It it's turned out a so cool. Really cool technique. I mean, super duper duper cool. Um, if you want to know how to paint on fabric. And then how to do some highlight. I mean, I even spattered on this and it shows. Yes. Um, super interesting technique to do. Um, I've tried doing some of those things before. Sometimes the fabric will just kind of suck that stuff in and you don't get the same effect that you do on wood. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. All right. Um, who wants want, to go first? You, you want, want me to go let's first? Go, let's go you first. Yes. I'll do. Let's take turns. Okay. How about I do turns. one? So this week we are showing off our favorite <clears> projects <throat> that we did in 2022 and myself and Patty and Dustin behind the camera and Steve doing all of the, the tech stuff for us. All of the, all the editing and um, all of we that. We all chose hey, our favorite projects. get the behind the scenes guys. <laughs> get the guys Give them love. a heart and a love <laughs> and a thing. Yes. Because we sit here and talk, but they let us talk. Yeah. Um, so my first one is our... Um, 
Grow darn it. Grow darn it. <laughs> if you our can PG, read. Our PG-13. Yeah. So this is done on a stone pot. Mm -hmm. And I used our faux stone stencil. And then so cool. we found a fun stencil design for the words. And then I spattered. And there's drop, drop shadow. shadow. What, I, drop yeah. what I love about this myself is that look at this shading mm -hmm. and these accents that you can do through the stencil. Yes. So you don't have to know, those of you who know about floating and, and washing color and all of that, you can do it all with your stencil brush, all through your stencil, and that's what makes it easy and fast and amazing. And then that drop shadow is also done with your stencil. Yes, so that was all. an amazing technique. Yes, and I was... Um a little worried that this was going to be beyond my skill set when mm -hmm. I started it and I was nervous because you only have one of these. <laughs> you, yeah. We yeah. don't have these just laid around. So um, I definitely did a lot of practice on boards and then I love how it turned out and um, I left it here yeah, it's for, for the year. Yeah. But now that the year's over, uh -oh. it's going, when spring comes, it's going home with me. <laughs> it looks really cool with that plant in it, Carrie. I'm going to have to paint my own now. Yeah, you're going to have to. I, I'll do it for you. I'll paint okay. you one. All right. Yeah, bring me a pot and I'll paint it. Okay, so that's my first one. Okay, so I'm going to go with one of Steve's and Steve one of mine. And, uh, and Dustin. And Dustin. So, so this, this was three of this us. This was three. Okay, so um, during last year, we spent an incredible amount of time bridging and making these into sizes. They are banding stencils. Mm -hmm. They were very boho, very, um, oh, just natural culture kind of patterns. They just really bring out just the, I don't know, authenticness of nature yeah. kind of thing. It's a really cool thing. But, um, so we've got a ton of these. If you look up banding stencils on studior12.com, and then how to do this with the stains, how to do this with a, a stencil on a box. Um, that's a bunch of different interesting lessons on this. So you're gonna wanna know how to paint on things that are already a shape. Yeah. Okay, so organically, organic. I think that's yes. the word I'm looking for. All right, you're okay, up. Okay, um, you oh, it's my turn again. Mm -hmm. So my next one, so, as I pull these out, guys, I painted all three of these, and I didn't. Ah, I didn't really intentionally do that. To be fair, I think I painted um, all of yeah. these. So. <laughs> but my next one is going to be the Hello Fall round with the two tone with the animal print, and then it's a mix of the um, wood cutouts and a stencil. So it has 3D. It has two different. Do we know are all of these listed on the yeah. website? Yeah, mm -hmm. we can have. You, can you grab me a handful of the different words that are laying right behind this curtain? Oh, yeah, yes, there's, there's a. Uh, they're all they're like, all back there. So we're trying to figure yeah, out we're how we're going to store out the display. <laughs> um, but we have these in every day mm -hmm. sayings like hello, welcome, gather, and then we also have. Thank fall you. season ones and we have Christmas season ones and the fall and the Christmas ones that we did I believe are a little bit smaller mm -hmm. because our intention for those was for you to get them and use them as place settings they paint them and so put them over top cute. of your um, yeah. plate but yeah. if you guys um, go to Pinterest and look up um, words on your plates for like a dinner setting um, these look phenomenal laying across a dinner plate um, paint them whatever color goes with your stuff they're amazing, but we have these in grateful and family and thankful and welcome and all the things. So you can totally decorate a wreath. Mm -hmm. You can make a 3D sign. Yep. You can do whatever it is your heart desires with all these raised words because we've got them already done for you. So that is a super cool thing that you probably didn't know about our website. Okay, my turn? Your turn. We'll do another one with the raised words. So this is another example. So this is the one example of how you can use it. And then there's another example. That's one of my favorites. And this is one of Steve's, Dustin's, I think, and mine as well. Um, I cheated. I just was like, yeah, I like all these. That's why I painted them. I like all the ones that everybody else chose. <laughs> yeah, I did. I was like, okay, I like that. Um, no, so what I like about this is this was my attempt at the longhorn um, cowhide pattern and that was the discovery of this wonderful 
I'm trying to think of what this one's called. Um, it's a, a feather brush. Yep, feather, feather brush. Antiquing and feathering, maybe? Yeah, so this brush allows you to do this like smeary technique. It's almost like a dry brush, but like with width. Um, and those of you that do dry brush, you'll know, but you can watch this video. So all of these are videos on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So they're all projects. Also, then we came into our little snowflakes, snowflakes, sunflowers. <laughs> Welcome to not summertime. Um, freezing on the brain, right? Um, anyway, but you can use your stencil to place these in different corners and do all of that. What I like about both of these projects is we diced up the background in with a line. Yes. So you can make it a really unique looking piece. Okay, so that is me, you got another one? Yeah, I have one more. So for my third <coughs> and final one is the coffee with the faux brick. So the inspiration for this one for me, I believe came from Instagram and I was going through some Instagram stories and I was on a maker's page and they make doll houses and they use teeny, 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 tiny brick stencil oh, with the modeling paste to give a textured brick inside of this teeny, tiny dollhouse. Yeah, that's not just visual bricks. They have, they're, they're fully textured. Yeah. yeah, and so I was like, we have bricks. How can we do this? Yeah, yeah. And then, so this lesson's really cool because it shows you how to do the textured background but it also one thing about stencils that i've heard from a lot of people is that they want to do the reverse of it yeah and so for this one i show you how to use just the big ginormous circle stencil so that you can do the reverse of the mm, design that you yeah use. yeah so in in other words like you want this white here because this is white out mm -hmm. here and so you want it to almost have like, I guess if you were using vinyl, mm -hmm. um, either you would put the vinyl on it and then you would peel the vinyl off, but the vinyl would not react very well with this oh, brick no. texture. Um, getting that to stick down and do all of that would be just a pain in the, um, like, yeah. Yes, and there's also a good lesson in this about painting over the texture mm -hmm. because um, especially all the way around here. I think we used a, a jumbo dauber and an ink sweeper on this. It's yeah, and that's a really good point because um, how to get that all base coated, super good lessons. You mm -hmm. want to know about these things. And that's, that's it's not the project. So when you go to our page, if you're not into blue and white, who cares? Like, yeah. It's, are you into texture? Mm -hmm. And do you want to paint over texture? Yes. And you know, how do you make the texture? Mm -hmm. That's what the lesson is. And I'm going to have you pull this over here because I don't think that from where I am, the texture actually shows. So you might be able to grab, put that closer to Dustin and let him see that it, it has the faux. It has heavy brick. texture. Yeah. Run fingers over it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you can, de you can definitely see it now. Yeah, it is. It is a textury texture. Yeah. So yeah, this is, this is the lesson. Um, how you make the texture using the modeling paste, mm -hmm. how you go through your stencil, how you clean it up. We've got how to clean your stencils, guys. Um, everybody needs to know how to clean their stencil and their brushes. And yes. we have those videos as well. So while you're sitting around trying to keep your house warm, um, <laughs> we only lost two pipes. Uh, no problem, you know. But um, while you're doing the New Year thing and all of that and you have some time to go watch some videos, I hope that you go and take advantage of these lessons. But um, yeah, painting over the top of the texture, super great lesson as well. Okay, let's move on. We're gonna move into this little guy right here. This one is Dustin's. And Steve. Was it Dustin and mm -hmm. Steve? Mm -hmm. Both of y'all? Okay, so this is really cool. So this is using sawdust, okay, in your, um, in your paint, which is super fun. Mm -hmm. You can buy sawdust, or if you happen to be married to a wood person like I am, um, you can be like, hey, honey, bring me a bag of sawdust. Um, but they do sell it at Hobby Lobby. I bought a bag of it there. Excuse me. And then, um, so you mix the sawdust in, and then you stencil right on top. Once again, texture, texture. It's so cool to add that texture. And then we did drop shadow through our stencil on the texture super like um is this gonna work or not we yeah. don't know and then we added the rust technique which was steve's favorite he loves the little bits of rust sanded over mm -hmm. to give it that relief on the texture really cool technique looks um, really good in bold colors so 
we had our list. I had everyone pull a list of what they wanted to use for today. And when I pulled that one, so a warning to you, if you use glitter on your Christmas projects, make sure that you're either going to wrap the ones that you don't want glittered, wrap the ones that are glitter, because we had that one <clears throat> beside a glitter one. Oh God. So when I pulled it out, you have this chunky rustic <laughs> thing with little splotches of glitter. glitter. So I used um, the hair dryer first. Mm -hmm. And then I used one of the makeup brushes, because, one of those really, yes. Yeah, so just used a heavy, a tight brush mm -hmm. and then just swept it away. Yeah. Yeah, and I can see that that's working really well on the ones that are so left. So it, it was a good lesson for today to yeah. make sure that if you're having something that you don't want glitter on. That yeah, you and then in last week's um, video, so you can go on to our YouTube channel and go to our lives and go find last week's, which mm -hmm. would have been the right before Christmas um, of 2022. Um, when you want your glitter to be stuck down, um, one of the questions was, how do you do that? And yes. you use the Krylon matte spray mm -hmm. over the top of it, and that will stick your glitter down and keep it way more secure than just having free-floating glitter falling off of your projects. Okay, the next two are tall porch signs. Okay, this one is almost a universal everybody loves it sign. I'm going to... Put this up here. <laughs> okay, so what we like about this, Dustin designed this and he was like, I like this because it has a little bit of creepy haunty going on, it has a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And then the, um, I love the illumination of the face and that's a special technique. Mm -hmm. I would bet you out of all the stencil companies in the world, I'll bet you we are the only one using this technique. So. You might want to check that one out and then Carrie's going to have links to all of these things. Yep, I've been sharing them all along. Yep. And I want to say with this one, Dustin had mentioned this was one that he had worked on. Um, you know, when you're designing and when you're painting, we all know some projects don't work out like mm -hmm. you had planned. And with this one, we threw at Dustin, hey, I want some stacked pumpkins and I want to welcome and we have them but you need to make them work how can we make them work how do we combine it all so a lot of times that is how something gets designed is we'll be like oh um i really like the pumpkin but i want them put together for you guys yes. so um it's not always what we want it's mm -hmm. you know what we all want this one i think was probably hands down one of the best selling fall um stencils that we had this year agreed and if you're selling um, for craft shows and stuff like that. We also show you how to connect this rope to the back so you have a secure um, hangy loopy thing that isn't gonna be hanging up here. That has taken me, we've been doing stencils for seven years, eight years. It has taken me seven or eight years to figure out how to staple into MDF and staple into the wood. Is that a separate video? Um, we did why. talk about how to, yeah, how to hang and paint. Um, yeah. We'll find that and then maybe we'll post it on Facebook because that's important. Um, and if it's not, then we'll make a video. That would be a good short. Yes, agreed. Okay, ooh, we got two more. Okay, so this one... <clears throat> I don't know why that board is so much heavier than this board. This board's even bigger. This one has the ugly sweater pattern on the back. Not much gets better than using a pattern stencil behind your tall porch mm -hmm. sign. And then what I loved about this is it has the sweater pattern, which is one of our border stencils, um, used as the top and the bottom, so it frames the piece. Just a super simple and elegant thing, um, but yet super hallmarky, ugly sweater, everybody's Christmas party, just super on trend, on on now mm -hmm. you know the last five years yeah. going into how many years who knows yeah. probably forever and right. i want to say that with the glowing jack-o-lantern that we showed oh. we have a playlist for that one that was one that nice. we did in multiple parts so you can watch how we did each individual piece of it yeah and then um something <coughs> excuse me something that you guys may not know is um what we do, um, what Carrie and Steve do on every video, is they go into the video, they re-watch the video after it's edited, and then they put the timestamps down below in the description. So you click on the more, 
and then it'll open up everything we've typed in there and we type as much information as we can. We usually run out of characters. Yes. Um, we want you to be able to find it through search and the only way you can do that is with words. Um, we want you to be able to find what you need in it. So we give you links to all the products and all of that. And we give you the timestamps and the timestamps mean that if you wanna watch the minute I'm texturing this, mm -hmm. then you can fast forward through all the other fluff yeah. and you can go right to that, find your information, hop on out of there. Um, you don't have to dedicate to an hour video if you just need five minutes of it. Right. And that is a gift from us to you because that, that is a gift that I enjoy when I find it. Yeah, agree. Mm -hmm. All right, so this one is one that I chose. Um, and this was a funny story. We're painting this, and so it's it's just got a big old. Watch out, Carrie. I'm watching. Sure. Here. I'll so big old sailboat, all the things. When I was painting this, I was like, oh, I'm gonna want some texture. I'm gonna want it to be looking like wood and all of this. I forgot about sanding the paint when the paint is wet. I forgot I even knew to do that, and I remembered it here on this project. It's a magical, magical technique. So you get your background colors and you put your paint color on top and then you take that rough sanding disc and you go right through the wet paint. Totally <coughs> game changer, totally makes a different look. Mm -hmm. So this one is my favorite because I remembered something I'd forgotten completely, like completely forgotten, but it just, it adds such a good worn look to it, you know? So that is just a really magical effect. Well, in this video <clears throat> was also where we had the epiphany to use the scrap mylar sheets yeah. that we use for our new reusable paint palettes, but to use those on porch signs as very large masks. Yes. Yeah, and that really, really an important um, masking your projects. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, there's a video. Um, if you see it, you'll know which one I'm talking about. It's um, somebody painting with a stencil and they're, they're making a tall porch sign with a um, the buffalo plaid pattern, but they're not using a stencil, so they're taping it off. I think they used an entire roll of tape, um, and I think, I can't imagine the bleeding, I can't imagine all the problems that they would have masking. Stencils are masks, and your straight edge of your stencils are masks. And on these, like the fall and the hello, and some of these other ones that we've done a straight line through a circle, you can use that stencil edge to tap on your color and not use your tape and not do all that stuff. It's super fun. Um, our friend Carla <clears throat> Knox, she actually just jumped on our Facebook and it reminded me of a comment that she left on her YouTube that I wanted to read to you guys. She said, I'm 65 and always thought I knew how to stencil. Well, guess what, girls? My stenciling was awful, LOL. I found you guys about three weeks ago and have learned so much from you. It's crazy. Now my stenciling is crisp <coughs> and beautiful. I can't believe it. Where have you been all my life? Yay! Yeah, and that's what we wanna share. And um, we are ending the year of 2022, the year of supply chain chaos. <laughs> um, so, so much. We started at the beginning of the year with nightmares of supply chains mm -hmm. like literally couldn't get mylar for stencils yes <laughs> like it, it has been blah, blah, blah. yeah and we made it through um we went from here to there to here to there we chased our tails all the way around the world and literally and um made it through and we're ending the year with brushes yeah stencil brushes <laughs> in stock okay so yes. you can get stencil brushes as of this week um, so make sure that you do get them. I almost want to have like a, you've got to try one brush. If you haven't tried our dome stencil brushes, which is what is going to probably mm -hmm. ask our gal that just commented if, um, she, if the difference was the stencil brush. Um, yes. She said that she did buy <clears throat> brushes, stencils, and a whole lot of other stuff. Um, she also said she's going broke. So, <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Don't do anything silly. However, <laughs> thank you for shopping with us. Yes. Uh, but yeah, no, if you'll just buy one of the bigger, the five eights, the five eights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, stencil brushes, go watch our how to stencil basics. Do what we say in that video. Your stenciling will 100% improve and including other stencil companies who don't seem to understand that you cannot, um, 
stenciled with one of these. Yes. Um, you see it all the time on YouTube videos, so um, please don't <clears throat> use one of these to stencil with. <laughs> it doesn't work! You know, I'd rather have you use a makeup applicator than one of those. It yeah, just... well, and I also want to, um, Linda reminded as well that along with the projects, we also had some pretty cool other things that we released this year, like our color chart. Mm -hmm. um, she said that the color chart's awesome. We released our paint color guide, and we also yeah. released the, the supply chain thing. The mat. So right about last year, um, Houston froze last year as well, or the year before? Mm -hmm. Was it the year? I think it was the year before. Whatever you know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, but Houston froze, and that was where Sherwin-Williams had their paint manufacturing um, facility for the small containers. And did we put that one back out yes, there? Yes, I away? did. <laughs> we do that every week. We clean up, and then no. Okay, anyway, but we use DecoArt, and we use Sherwin-Williams. Mm -hmm. And so, but DecoArt, if I had to use, so <clears throat> if you've watched our Christmas um, videos, this color number 18, if I was to use a bottle of DecoArt number 18, which is like deep burgundy and DecoArt, um, I would use 800 of these in a year. <laughs> Especially on a porch sign. Yeah, yeah, tall porch signs. You're just going to use it. Red doesn't cover very well anyway. And so, yeah, I just would use so much. So anyway, but we made a color chip chart of the 80 colors or 82. Um, they're not numerical on here. They're organized by color family. So you can get this chart and the chart is going to show you the deco art number, the Sherwin Williams number and the hex code. So if you're designing or doing anything like that, you can use that. And then it's got them organized by color families, cool tones, warm tones, all the color theory. We are a company run by artists. Mm -hmm. And so we want to give you all the artist tools we can. So this is a very valuable um, technique. Yeah, please. Yes. Thank you, Justin. So this is um, deep burgundy in Americana, so you can see. <laughs> Good job, Justin. Oopsie, it's so cute. I it's feel like so those little miniature bottles of ketchup and mustard, you know? <laughs> it's adorable. But um, yeah, so this is great if you're putting red ornaments on a snowman's Christmas tree. You know what I mean? Like if you're decorating something, this is gonna work great. If you're base coating three coats on this background, especially with texture, you are gonna use some paint. So these are the little to-go sample containers of the Sherwin-Williams paint. Um, and so we get them here, we put them in honey bottles um, that we get on Amazon. We can put an affiliate link down, down in there. And um, these just make it easy to squirt them out. You would never want to take the lid off of here and pour. <laughs> no, no. And then we have a video as well that will show you how to load the, um, the bottles. So. Super great little system, especially if you're painting in bulk. Um, that's something that I know a lot of people, it's the, the years to make some cash out of your home is kind of what's been going on the last year as well. Um, Terry said that her Sherwin-Williams was impressed with the color chart that Nice. I've actually seen a few people say that. that mm -hmm. they're well, this is awesome. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah. So, and, and it's a really, it's, we actually use it ourselves. We'll be like, oh, hey, you know, I need more of this, <laughs> you know, and so we use the chart as well. So it's a lot of the tools, um, like the multi-masker, was that this year? Was that last no, year? the multi-masker was last year. This okay. year we released the color, the color, paint color guide. We released the, the, um, the color chart, the round color, mm -hmm. color wheel. And we released the um, reusable paint palette. Yeah. The reusable paint palettes, guys, are, are mm. scrap. So it sounds really silly, but there are scrap pieces of Mylar. And you can take them and do whatever you want with them. They're amazing. But these little multi-maskers are something that um, we created it because I was fighting with something. Mm -hmm. I needed to have a curved edge and i was like hey dustin do you think you could and then we put in some extra tools like the dots and the the checks um, made it organic to go around all kinds of edges and i have to say it's practically perfect in every way and this has become our number one of all time stencil sale yeah it's, you know it's, it's so funny our, it's the best tool one of our best sellers yeah yeah it is such a great thing i we sell them by the droves and droves and droves mm -hmm. Okay, we got anything else? No, I think that's All right. So, that's about 2022, it. we're coming to a close, mm -hmm. and we are delighted to serve you in our crafting communities, and we wish you the best for the next year.